In this video, we are finding out how fast these are, the Nike Alpha Flight 2, over the 10K distance. Right, yes. so we're here at the ranch, Chateau 40 Runs. Uh, the boys are still unfortunately here. Toby's, look, eating those open, and yeah. drinking those. Uh, but we are pre A6 10K, which is why we're doing the start of the video here, because we're taking the Alpha Fly 2, and we're also taking the Metaspeed Sky Plus, by the way, uh, but I'm not running that. Watch that video when that comes out. And we're going to the A6 10K to find out what they're like over the 10K distance. Now, we have done videos on the Alpha Fly 2, um, but if you've not seen them, make sure you do. But it just it, briefly, they haven't really changed much about it, apart from pretty much putting the prices up. Uh, they've changed the midsole a little bit in terms of shape, geometry. They've added some zoom X down the bottom. Changed the drop as well on the shoe, new upper. And that's about it, really. So, um, yeah, we're going to take this along. We're looking to run what time? Under 43 minutes. Under 43 minutes tomorrow. Don't know if it's possible. In this shoe. Just weight check, by the way. Um, we've done it. We've done the full weight check in the Metaspeed Sky video plus. But just to give you a heads up, the Alpha Fly 2 is 8.7 ounces, and the Metaspeed Sky Plus is 7.5 ounces. So, a bit of a difference in weight. But we'll see what they do tomorrow. Tobe's not going to add any value, I don't think, really, to the uh, to anything really, video or no. So what you? Eye candy. I can, yeah, eye candy, yeah, that's true. No. Right, so we shall see you tomorrow, bright and early, at the A610K, where we look to run a PB in those. Four minutes dead. Ah, uh, my left arch of my heel is hurting. I'm guessing I'm going to pull it off and I'm going to have a blister on that, even though the arch has been improved. I think that's down to the heat today, more than anything else. Maybe sock. Yeah, maybe sock. I've got to say, Scott, but they use your eye, but I'd say it's probably the heat, I'll be honest with you. I've been, and I usually put like Vaseline on the inside of my things that I didn't today, so it's, it's much my own fault as anything else. So, although that's it, um, painful discomfort. I think uh, that's my fault more than the shoes fault. But overall, shoes were fine. I mean, 44 minutes, we were pacing at 5 42, and they, and they felt fine. Don't forget, these are more of a marathon shoe for me. So, 10k distance was absolutely fine. So, I think the point of this video is these are 275, and if, uh, if you're spending 275, you can use them for other things. I think that's that's what I want to get out of the video today, really. Would you still buy Alpha Fly 1 though? Don't oh, yeah, I'd still buy Alpha Fly 1 for whatever they are. Yeah, they're 150. 150, or whatever they are. But you, my point is that they are okay as a 10k shoe. They're not as fast as a vapor fly. No way. Absolutely no way as fast as a vapor fly. But if you want the Alpha Fly for a marathon, don't be scared to use it for the 10k. So, yeah, that's it really. There you go. Hope that was helpful. Probably wasn't. So we'll catch you later. Say bye, son. See you later. Bye bye.